Good morning and welcome to another Q&A Monday. This week's question says, how do I attract more buyers and sellers? In other words, how do I attract more customers? Uh, well, we all want more customers or more business. And the best way to attract uh, buyers and sellers or customers, whoever your customer may be, is to have value that people want. So I would ask you, what is your value? What is the value you're bringing and who are you trying to appeal to? Most of the time, we are not real clear about who we want to attract into our life as far as customers in the first place. And so we attract everybody and then we have to weed through who the best client and the customer is for us. So uh, number one, figure out who would you want to work with? Who are the best people you want to work with? I would venture to bet that if you're guessing uh, for buyers and sellers, you don't want any buyer and seller. You want the ones that are more motivated. So on a scale of one to 10, one, they don't really, they're not really motivated. 10, they are motivated. Seven, eight, nine, maybe eight, nine, tens are the ones you really, really need. So that's who you need to focus on. And you have to bring the most value to attract those people. So I'd venture to ask you, what is your value statement? If, if I were to ask you, who are you and what do you deliver to your customers? Could you answer that? I'll give you a great example. With our program, um, we are, our, we're, our value statement is something we kind of check everything off on. In other words, if we're gonna do uh, a video does this video help deliver this value statement? So I'll give you an example of, of our value statement and then maybe it will help you. I help successful but over, overworked real estate entrepreneurs understand the power of passive income so that they can find freedom and margin for what matters most. And so once you have that value statement and you put it out there, you're gonna attract a tribe. Now I know for a fact that based on that, I don't want every single person in the real estate business. I don't want every single entrepreneur. I want the successful but overworked entrepreneur. And I wanna help them understand the power of passive income so that they can have freedom and margin for what matters most. So I'd ask you to sit down, take a few minutes and write, what is your value statement? What value do you bring? Who are you and what do you deliver? What transformation are you gonna give the buyers and sellers? And then once you're clear on that, put it out to the world and see what tribe or what group is attracted to you. And of course, every day starts with looking for the most motivated, eight, nines, and tens. If I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, I'm gonna to ask myself, who do I have right in front of me today that's an eight, nine, 10? Uh, and if I have no one, then I'm gonna get on the phone or I'm gonna get uh, in front of people until I do find those eight, nine, tens. If I just kind of keep that simple formula in my head, uh, then I'm very clear every day what I need to do. I need to find eight, nine, tens. You know, I don't need to spend time on the ones. I need to spend time on people who are on a motivational scale. They're an eight, nine, or 10. They're sitting on ready, they're ready to go. And if I don't have any that day, then I go find some. If I do have some that day, that's who I call on first. And that's who I try to move from step A to step B. So kind of keep that in mind as a general rule of thumb that you're looking for the most motivated every single day. If I don't have any, then my job is to go find some that day. If I have some, then my job is to move that person forward. And then you have to decide what vehicles you're gonna use to, to, to put your value statement out there so that you can see who you can attract. And so uh, remember business Every business is a lead generation business. So without leads, you don't have a business. So every day, uh, every day is about lead generation because every business is a lead generation business. So I hope that helps and I'll see you next Monday.